Hi, my name is Juliana Celedon and I'm a coffee producer from Costa Rica. My dad started a company called Down to Earth when I was one and I've been watching the whole process from the producing side. So I'm very interested to be here in LA trying to figure out what the other side is all about. I took over Down to Earth last year when my dad passed away, so I'm kind of trying to continue his legacy in the best way I can. I learned so much from him. I want to maintain coffee the way he was doing it, but at the same time add some of my own new ideas. Hi, are you Nicely? That's me. My name is Juliana. It's very nice to meet you. You're welcome. Here. Happy I'm to have you. I'm actually looking for some coffee shops. This is the one. And you made I it. I got a good recommendation. You made it. Nice to have you. When each person, when they get passionate enough and inspired enough to create a space their own, if they just truly make it their own. I've said Los Angeles is one of those places that has that global impact. Anything you're doing, if you're doing it with a level of passion and integrity that is truly palpable and genuine, people are gonna find you. This is sort of a spot that you know people gotta tell you about to find right now. It's felt so personal and intimate in a way that I've wanted to re-embrace a lot of the community that I was a part of helping foster in Venice. I wanted to focus this program on natural processed coffee uh, given that we focus on natural processed wine. People are excited about in coffee because they're such definable flavors and get people hooked into specialty yeah. coffee. Well, I'm extremely excited to be Gateway uh, in the sense that if I can be people's uh, aha experience with specialty coffee, I'm excited to yeah be that. I mean, I've seen the variety. It's just, there's a lot of coffee in LA. That's why I came here, I was very interested to learn. I mean, I've talked to people and they're saying it's growing every day even more. For you, like in your perspective, what makes it unique? What makes it stand out for all the coffee shops that are just in LA? While I might not have, you know, the, the TikTok craze, you know, produ producing me a line around the corner or something like that, I think on the more community and uh, again, genuine sort of level, you know, cup by cup, you know, that I meet, you know, a person and a passerby, just like yeah, you. It looks like me. And yeah. just, you know, and get to create, you know, uh, a long lasting relationship that's, you know, not based upon clickbait, you know. Yeah. Truly excited to continue to foster those environments and support people that are about them too. I think that you have wines over here and coffee. And I really think that's an interesting combination because I feel like the process of wine and coffee are very similar. So all the parallels, you know, continue to lend themselves to each other, the very, very similar worlds. But we got iced versions of my Cafe yeah. Rico, sort of respect to that Puerto Rican heritage. Cafe Rico, you know, it's just delicious coffee, mm -hmm. right? And so I make the vanilla syrup myself. I use fresh orange oils. Right. Yeah, and basically we've just got some yummy espresso, some vanilla, fresh orange. It's very good. What about these two? So then one of my business partners here at Hooked uh, was telling me one of her nicknames. She says she used to go by uh, Dina Colada back in the day. And so I was riffing on making a coffee mojito, if you will. Okay. And one of my chefs in a, a restaurant was saying, you know, uh, a riff on a pina colada might be fun. And I'm like, oh, and I got a name for it. Got oyster juice there. You've got pickled pepper juice because Dina likes things a little spicy. You've got uh, a distilled coffee. You've got sweetened condensed milk, and then you've got pineapple juice. Wow. Uh, and then some espresso uh, grounds on top just to kind of carry through the rest of the aromatics. It's very good too. Thank you. Thank you. Wow. Lastly, I got my espresso and tonic here. That's been a hallmark of uh, of my service for quite a while. I've always described it as just being like a citrusy espresso soda, something. Kind of, okay. Sort of bubbly and refreshing, and again, being next to Venice Beach, you know, you want things that are sort of iced. refreshing at yeah. times and iced, you know. So, uh, though when we got our nice overcasty days, enjoying this uh, hot is completely worthwhile. Uh, I'm very impressed. Thank you. And Thank I you. really like that you bring a personal story to the drink. You pay homage to the people that made a positive impact in your life. I think that's sure. amazing. Sure. Clients are going to appreciate that because I've been going to coffee shops that are different, coffee shops that have connection with people, kind of like the third wave of coffee where clients want more than just to purchase a cup, they want the story. Yeah. They want to know the person who's going to make their cup. They want to know where the coffee came from. They want to yeah. know 
the quality of the bean, like is the appreciation for the process. And I think that's exactly what you're doing here. Thank you, thank you. I try to make it, you know, you you mentioned earlier, you know, uh, getting to know my customers and everything. I try to make it something where I build rapport with people. Yeah. I. The, from the second I meet them, I try to meet them where they're at, whether it's, you know, they like a really sweet cup of coffee or they do just want just a black cup of coffee. Um, I like to say that, you know, I do my best to make sure I'm versed in all of that. I want to make, you know, somebody as happy as I possibly can with these two hands. Some of the better memories I have of my grandmother making coffee are what I lean on as far as being well. The way she made me feel when she would share that last little corner of her coffee yeah. uh, with me, you know, it's more often than not how I try to make people feel when they come in. So I'm Puerto Rican, very classic uh, sort of thing to grow up mm -hmm. with, you know, Around casa coffee, de café, you know, see, see, see. after uh, dinner or something, you know, and so I've seen, you know, my grandmother, my mother making coffee my entire life that fell into it the way that I did, started really focusing on it as a career, it's felt natural since day one. I'm a dad of two boys. Are they interested in coffee? One point or another, they've all they've each shown a little bit of flair for it. Okay. Um, they both know that that's what daddy does. My six-year-old seems to be the one that will just randomly take a cup of anything <laughs> and tap it and go like this and yeah. swirl it a little bit. So I think he might have something for it, yeah. They don't drink coffee. Oh yeah, they do. They do? Uh, yeah. The way I grew up too, I mean, the earliest four years old, I remember sharing a cup of coffee with my grandmother, you know? They like to have a little taste here and there. They, you know, of course they like it more sweet and everything, guess, you know. Milk. I remember my, you know, one of my first coffee uh, memories was my grandmother taking me to a haagen to have a yeah. scoop of coffee ice cream. And so that flavor profile is definitely yeah. what sticks out to me. And similar, my sons yeah. too, they know a little sweet, creamy sort of coffee thing they're excited about. And yeah, eventually uh, I can definitely see them kind of coming around more and more. Your story is inspirational, you know. I would only hope that they see the love, the passion, the integrity I've done my best to maintain in my, yeah. in my career. You know, it's not, you know, like, oh yeah, my dad, you know, is a barista. He was like, oh no, my dad is a barista. Yes. You know, something that I hope they, they do, they recognize the, the impact of it just being more than me just making a cup of coffee. It's, you know, what I've uh, dedicated to being in fostering community, into training people that, you know, want to learn how to do coffee themselves. I do see that being there for them. I would be so excited if they, if they chose to take that up. I wouldn't be surprised. Like, Thanks. I can see that you have a lot of passion and when I was growing up, just looking at my dad working with the passion that he used to have mm -hmm. inspired me. I was like, that is so cool. Even though I didn't drink coffee when I was young. When I was like, yeah, I didn't like it. Mm -hmm. But I was still very interested, interested in the situation even though I didn't drink coffee because I love just hearing him talk with that much passion, getting involved with clients. I would just like stay in the corner and just like listen to him giving coffee tours and I would like try to like remember every single word. That's sure. how I learned what I know. Sure. Right? So I feel like and I think yeah, you're right, that's 100% you. yeah. it. It's the environment we create about them, you know? It, uh, it's yeah. what brings people in, it's what makes people feel comfortable. It's what makes them want to sit down and have a coffee with you. And even if it's not your kids, I know that you're gonna impact a lot of people. Thank I you. just know it because just your, your personality is amazing. Thank you. And what you do for the community, I just feel like it's the type of place where you go have a coffee, you leave, years later you still remember. Like, thank oh, when you. I met nicely, oh, you know what man, I mean? Thank it's you. just great. Is what coffee should be about. So That's I'm very excited. Appreciate That's what it. I'm most excited about the new coffee era. Mm -hmm. It's just seeing places like this, mm -hmm. meeting people like you mm -hmm. that are so into coffee and they make it more than just a business. It's not about Thank selling you. the cups, it's about sharing See? the coffee. And that yeah. rounds back to yeah. where, yeah, Los Angeles yeah. is doing more people like myself wanting to get at the helm and open more places like this. I'm I think excited. you're going to see more of it.